When you get your lady to the U.S. and things go wrong, breaking up and talking about getting divorced, the family probably didn't know about it. And it happened. She was missing for two years. A more tragic example of what happens, avoid doing this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Black Filipino TV. Now today we are getting into this. The reason why we are getting into this, like I made a bunch of videos before on this and I spoke about most guys actually bring their ladies over there right away. They don't bother coming here, but they bring their lady there. Then things go wrong and some guys take it to the extreme. Stay tuned, let's get right into it. This is a sad situation here, but this happens sometimes. And what happened was this guy gets his Filipino over to the US, right? So they're settled in for about two years. Then all of a sudden she comes up missing. She wasn't only missing, she was missing for two years. And the last time her family heard from her was two years ago. That's mistake number one. Reason why Filipinos always speak to their family especially if they're in the u.s now sometimes the filipino you know they could be the breadwinner of the family and the breadwinner of the family will usually get calls from home saying hey i need this and you know many filipinos if there's any filipinos watching right now they know exactly what i'm talking about you get those calls from home and the family will will have a need you know they'll be tr trying to contact you to help them help pay the bills or even like a situation like my wife she actually had to help pay bills at home when she was in Thailand and she had to help put her sisters through school. So of course, the family was in constant contact with them. So what happened with Kay, Kay was doing that. Also, she was helping out with medical bills. But the family was in constant contact. It, it wasn't a week that would go by that someone wouldn't be calling from home to speak to her. And I'm sure that was the same thing with this lady. What happened was she got over there, 2017, he brought her over. 2019, things are going topsy-turvy. Now, things happen like this. What happens with Filipinas is they, they'll get over there, they'll start getting settled in. And this is what a lot of you guys talk about that watch my videos. Uh, you know, because you guys already know. And it's happened to some of you guys. But you guys, the, the Filipina gets settled in. She'll start meeting other Filipinos, especially other Filipinas, who are self-entitled, who've probably been living there for years. Or they may meet a Filipino out there, maybe start dealing with him. I mean, it happens. These tragic situations happen. And from 2017 to 2019, it's a little crazy. So really, it happened that fast. Within two years, you know, she already started acting up. And the crazy thing is, this guy's young. You know, she was in her 20s. He was only about 37, 38 years old. Very young guy. No need for a woman to really be doing him wrong. But it can happen. Got over there. Got to see the life over there and probably got carried away. It's a sad situation, but this is a lesson, I think, to Filipinos and to Filipinas that go out there. Not every guy, you can't just do every guy dirty. And of course, a guy shouldn't even think about murdering somebody. I wouldn't suggest that to anyone. Actually, that's why the video is titled that. Guys, don't get a woman out there and do it. Number one, number one, the family's gonna, that's like me getting K out to the US, right? Something goes wrong with K or not even that, Kay's not speaking to her family. Who you think's getting the phone calls right away? And, and you know what's crazy with this guy? I don't think he really knew that because he brought her over there. He didn't have a chance to come over here and really get to understand how Filipinos are. If he knew that, he probably would've thought twice. That's like me, right? For instance, Kay, Kay, Kay's sister's calling me and her other sisters are calling me saying, Jay, where's Kay? I don't know. I don't know, uh, we, we broke up. And, and that's really gonna be my only defense but still, they're gonna say, but wait a minute. The family, they'll be calling over thinking, Kay didn't tell me about a breakup. You know, cause that's what happened in this situation. The guy, they were actually breaking up and talking about getting a divorce, but the family probably didn't know about it, right? So they're calling around going, okay, where is she? And it happened, she was missing for two years. Crazy, crazy. A Filipino can never be just missing for two years. And, and the crazy thing is if she, had mental problems, the family would never go over to the US. You know, because it does happen. You know, a lot of times mental problems are, are swept under the rug in the Philippines. But still, Filipinos have uh, one of the most happy places in the world is the Philippines. Just naturally. 
You know, they, they sweep things under the rug also. So, but at the same time, if that's a situation where, you know, someone has mental issues, the family probably would never let her come over here. That's how tight knit a Filipino family is. So that's why the guy, he actually got caught. He got caught because the family's keep, they're gonna keep calling. They're not, they're not gonna just let it go. Oh, oh, well, she's missing, okay. And they haven't spoke to their kid, you know, that's crazy. It's, it's funny because I think more families in the U.S. need to be more like that. Situations happen and then people will be thinking, oh, well, no, she was a loner anyway. Or like say in the U.S. sometimes, maybe a lady may not speak to her family. So she'll be missing and it happens. You see them on the, on the milk cartons, right? She'll be missing. And then people will be like, oh, I don't know. Well, she was, she was a wild one, you know, she would always go out and go hang out with different guys and she's missing. Or maybe she ran off. People will mark it up as that, they chalk it up as that, because they'll, they won't speak to them for a year, then they'll turn up later. And there's been times that I've been gone for six months at a time not speaking to anyone. So that won't be the same with a Filipino family. Now, they were working to have her body shipped back from the US to the Philippines. The family's working on that. They're working on getting help from the Philippines Embassy out in Washington to have that done. To Filipinas, any Filipinas watching this, you know, you can't be doing, uh, Every guy like that, you know, every guy's not having it. And for you guys, you guys already know, you guys have said it to me before, and you said it all the time. A lot of times, it may not be so good to just rush them back to the state. This is an example of what happens. And this is a tragic, a more tragic example of what happens because he killed her. You know, not everyone is gonna take being done wrong like that. And this guy obviously wasn't. Just a sad situation. But yeah, guys, that's what happened. Also the same thing, what helps protect women now is they can actually be connected with the Philippines Council or something like that. Like, it's, I forgot what it is. It's like a certain document that you sign to where you'll be in contact with people in the Philippines for situations like this, which is good, which a lot of women need to get. But still at the same time, a lot of guys don't care about that. If a guy's crazy, like this guy's obviously crazy, he's not caring about that. He wasn't hearing, she probably was cheating on him. And some guys are just not hearing it. You know, they're not. Me, Kay, Kay starts cheating on me. She can go. She can go. Guys have to keep that in their mind. I'm going to get another one. And she's looking at me making faces right now. But still, at the same time, you know, you can't be weak-minded like that. You got to be have a mind of strength and say, you know what? I lost this one. I'll get another one. Never let this happen to you guys. Pay attention to the story. You already know what's going on. You already understand these things happen. And you can't say that will never happen to me because you never know what will happen. And you saying it won't happen to you, it will happen to you. And then you'll be committing a crime of passion too. Because you don't know how you're going to react when things like that happen. This happened. When it comes to love, guys tend to get emotional as well, just like women. So it's hard. I feel bad for the guys to get over there. And this happens too. But don't stoop, stoop that low. Life is not over. But life is over when you take it to this extreme and you start killing people. You start beating people up, start putting your hands on people, that's when things go all the way left. And then now, like this guy here, was 30 years old, now his life is over. So, it's just a sad situation. Don't let it happen to you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, you're welcome to support my, my content by giving a small donation by PayPal. You can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF and there you can buy me a coffee or you can book a consultation with me. I have consultations for a very small fee. Also I have consultations for working at home. So if you're a guy that's a little younger not quite retired yet and you want to work from home while in the Philippines, you can go to my buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF and also I have a packages for working at home. So you see them there, you can book it there. You can get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines at foxtonomy.creator-spring.com. Once again, that's foxtonomy.creator-spring.com and get a shirt that represents your journey to the Philippines today. There's a new feature to YouTube, it stinks. Now at the bottom of this video, you see thanks there. You can give a thanks and make sure your comment is highlighted and you can give a small donation that way as well. Guys, in the description, you'll see other videos of my other content that's great as well. So you can be sure to watch my other content there. Thank you for watching. See you next video.